Today on BCPOV, Gavin skipped school to send it at the bike park. Oh, nice. <laughs> In fact, his homework is now to send these wall rides he's never hit before. As for where we are, let's check out the blue marble to see the progress on our road trip. Well, last week Yuka showed me up on this Rudy shoot at Perry Hill, and I was pretty happy about it. Nice. But now it's time to continue on. After some more exploration in Vermont and New Hampshire, we arrive at Highland Mountain Bike Park in the southern part of the state. Born from an old ski hill and a chairlift that has seen better days, it's nothing flashy at first glance. In fact, there's only 200 meters of elevation here, but what Highland lacks in glamour, it makes up in quality single track. In fact, there are almost 30 trails here with their own unique flavor. And that's what my wife Yuka and I have come here for. It's a cold day though, and it's even threatening to rain. But we're eager to get some laps in, as the lift wasn't working when we arrived the day before. As usual, we warmed up on a blue flow trail. This one's called Cat's Paw. All right, first lap at Highland, Cat's Paw. We didn't know what to expect, but things started out promising. Halfway down, and I'm impressed. This trail is just getting better and better. Pretty fun. But I don't want to spoil too much, as we're going to ride this trail again later in the video. On our way up, for the next lap, we met a local ripper. He's 16 years old, and he's offered to show us around. We didn't get his name yet, but he sounded like he knew what he was doing. Right. Don't do anything you wouldn't normally do. All right. <laughs> okay, you good? He offered to lead us down Highland's Black Jump Line, Hellion. It's a lot like Whistler's A-Line, and though the jumps might not be as big, they certainly are as interesting, if not more so. Yuka and I had done a few laps on it earlier, but we weren't quite clearing everything. Having a local to follow down certainly helps though, as they can boost your confidence to boost that lip. This jump would buck me every time I hit it. Gavin's advice was to push harder into the jump in order to land properly. Oh, thanks for the towing on that. That was fun. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> yeah, some of them are like, you gotta brake check a little bit. Yeah, the trail gets beat on a lot. Yeah. So, like, most of the trail is, you can just like white knuckle yeah. into most of the jumps. Sweet. Good. A little more? A little more. Okay. This next jump is a new one, and I wasn't able to clear it on any of my runs earlier. Phew. All right, got it that time. Sweet, that was fun. Nice, dude. Nice to meet you, man. Really nice to follow someone through the trail. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Gavin. Gavin. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, you want to go up again? Yeah, are you going up again, or? Yeah. Yeah, you want to ride with us for a bit? Yuka. Oh yeah. Uh, nice to see you guys here. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> I watch your guys' video all the time. Sick. Yeah, Thanks for watching. Your videos. Oh, thank you. Guys, have a good day. Sweet. As we headed up for the next lap, we decided to do another run down Cat's Paw, but this time with Gavin in the lead. He'll show us the lines, and he's got some sneaky ones. Sick. While we were on the lift, I realized it was a Friday, and well. Shouldn't Gavin be in school? It turns out he should have been, but he skipped class in favor of riding park. But it's not as bad as it sounds, as he's got to deal with his parents. If he gets good grades in school, he's allowed a day off every now and then to go ride. 
As it turns out, Gavin's been coming to Highland with his dad for two years now. They both started riding together, and it sounds like his dad gets it. Sometimes it's okay to take a little time off and go ride your bike. You all right? <laughs> well, all good? I think so. <laughs> Number two today. <laughs> cool. Ready? Yeah. Since Gavin lives nearby, he's able to come here a lot, leading to lines like this. He knows how to, oh, he's got a line there. <laughs> The way the trail crew here has designed this trail is fantastic. There's so many great options to hit as you ride the trail. No two runs down the trail are the same. I'd love to see more stuff like this at the Whistler Bike Park. <laughs> you know, you know the lines. Oh, you took the funny lines. Yeah, I followed him. He took a shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> and then he also knows where how to go around all the brake bumps and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a. So you can follow him, huh? Well, I still ride right straight through them. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. When you take the lift up here, there's a very prominent wall ride visible from the lift. On each ride up, it was calling to us. Ride me! Ride me! Gavin had never ridden it either, so naturally the discussion of hitting it came up. Are you gonna hit it? Sure, I'll try it. I mean, if you're gonna, I might as well try it. I haven't had anybody to try it with, so. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't planning on it. I was hoping to watch you do it. Oh, all right. <laughs> but if you, if you don't think... send it, man. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So, yeah, I just don't want you to get hurt, is all. Yeah, well, if you would have done it anyways, then go ahead. Yeah. But if you're just doing it because the camera's on or whatever, no, it's don't not, do it. I wouldn't say it's because of the camera, it's just more because I have someone to do it with. Oh, okay. Let's look at it first. All right. Okay. In the past, I've definitely had a few cases where people get camera courage and they just send it without the skills to back it up. And then, of course, the inevitable happens. And I really don't enjoy that, so I'm a little hesitant in these situations. But Gavin has a good head on his shoulders, and he hasn't done anything sketchy yet. He seems to ride within his limits. We're heading down a trail called Any Style, or Northeast Style. There was also this rainbow wall ride, but more on that later. And here's the wall ride in all its glory. You've got to jump onto it, then jump off, but sideways. Thinking about it now, I still don't get how that second part works, but for some reason it does. I think it should be okay. Yeah. All right, you want to walk up and try? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it should work. <laughs> all right, you want to go for it? Gavin leads the way. Nice. Sweet. You made it look good. I've got an issue with these step up features. In Whistler, earlier this year, it became painfully obvious. But Gavin, the nice guy that he is, goes up again with me to tow me in. Ready? All right. Sick. Ah, much better. 
Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Woo. That was awesome! You wanna do it again? <laughs> yeah. It's so easy now. Yeah. Now that I know what to expect, I won't be so like. You know how you get tense? Yep. Yeah, I understand that. Was not anticipating on doing this today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go for it. Once you've got it, it becomes easy. As we headed down, we got to a trail called Power Hour. It's full of massive senders. So there's a better way to drop into them. Oh, is there? Yeah, the stack right there. Oh, yeah. You don't have to break or anything. You just go right into the fish. Oh, okay. The shack, huh? Oh, I like how there's a map. Yeah. Oh, that one doesn't look so big right away. Oh, but that one is hipped. There's a yeah. hip jump right after it. All right, well, let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna case all these. Thing. Okay, those are pretty big. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty big. You landed the beauty horse there. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> I, I cleared like one of them, I think. Did you? <laughs> I think. Yeah, and then know. after that, I was like, uh, these are really big. <laughs> and a quick jaunt down happy hour to get back to the lift. Remember that other rainbow wall ride that I mentioned earlier? Well, we've gone back up to conquer that one. What do you think? I think I'll watch you do it. <laughs> so the wall ride, which Gavin calls the rainbow, is a little tricky. The problem is, in order to hit it, you have to do the massive pink bike drop before it. That's just not gonna be achievable for us today, so we formulate a plan. Maybe I should try it from there. Maybe I should inspect that. If we start from the top of the jump, we still have to make it past this other wall ride. What do you think? It's pretty big and scary wall. <laughs> yeah. I might just go slow and then just roll off the wall and see. See how it feels. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. We might be onto something here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, if you can do it that at that speed, then that's gonna be even easier. Yeah. <laughs> that was super easy. It looks so easy. Yeah. Gavin and I try it together. And then we continue on. After finishing off any style, Gavin took us to a double black trail called Threshold, where there's a big old drop waiting for us. Caution, drop. Basically, you're on your brakes till here, yeah. and then you just white knuckle it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you done it? Yeah. Oh, man. Mm, that's really far. Yeah, maybe I don't want to do this today. <laughs> Gavin goes for the send. Sweet! And while Gavin made that big drop look great, smaller drops are better for me. Sweet! How was that? Oh, I've been around. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I guess it's almost closing now, huh? 
The day was coming to an end for Gavin, and after another quick lap of Hellion, it was time to say goodbye. Sweet, that was rad. Thanks for riding with us today. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. Yeah, nice to ride with you. Thanks yeah, for showing us around. Good. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. And it was a great day with Gavin. And you know, he's only been riding mountain bikes for two years, and he's been killing it. I'm always impressed with the younger generation these days. With access to bike parks, fantastic mountain bikes, and supportive parents, there's nothing stopping them. Thanks for riding with us, Gavin. As for Highland, what a great little bike park. The trail design is amazingly creative and interesting. It's nice to go somewhere and try a feature you've never done or even seen before, and Highland has that in spades. It seems like a mountain bike park run by mountain bikers and for mountain bikers. The lift may be slow and the lines long, but it's worth it for the trails. I definitely recommend paying Highland a visit if you're in the area. But as always, thanks for watching and stay gnarly. Whoa! Oh.